the Tetris zone. It's the Tetris, the Tetris zone. zone. It's Jeff's house. Hi, everybody. It's my house. house. Jeff's house. In the, In middle, the middle of the, of the block. Street. Jeff's house. Oh, it's where I play my Tetris. The Tetris. They're made of squares. Very clever, Jay. Thanks. Oh. Gamers, we passed 4,000. We did. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. I, I, I pushed us over. I pushed us over the line. You don't need to tell him it was you, Mara. They don't need to know we're rigging it. I put my name on the tilt <laughs> supply. I know what I'm okay. about. That's fair. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Does anyone remember offhand what our four thousand dollar goal is, or does anyone have the list in front of yeah, them? Yeah, dog, what, I got what, you right here. For, okay? for four thousand dollars, we get a little thing called the Pokemon Showdown Showdown Elite Four Challenge, where our four champions of Pokemon Ooh. Showdown Showdown are going to get together. Two of them are here. What the heck? Yeah. Two of them are in the house with us right now. I'm also two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them are in the house with us right now. <laughs> And is the Pokemon Showdown Showdown Champion in the room with you right now? <laughs> Pokemon Showdown Showdown Champion can't hurt you. Pokemon Showdown Showdown Champion. I would like to hurt people in Ted. So our next goal is 4,500 Survivor Interstitial. Yeah. Crossover character interstitial. I just need to put that in your head. I need you to be thinking that. I need you to pro process that. Uh, and before we get started, I just want to say, Al... Bro, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Al has sent has sent me specifically some uh some special modes for Tetrio <laughs> that we will be using after playing a couple regular rounds. <laughs> uh, also, yes, there is a reason that the room is now Jeff's fuck house and no longer Mart's fuck house, and it's because look at Jeff's level. It's to be no to be clear. I made this account. Last year, it's psychic damage damage. Oh, so that's one year of progress. <laughs> yeah. Since then, Jeff. No, that's all from that one night. <laughs> Jeff just kicked all our asses that bad that one night. <laughs> I went pretty hard that night. No, that's stolen valor. <laughs> I need. I need to play right now. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, go. Let's get into it. Let's fucking do Let's this. Fucking go. Uh, oh, it's nice to be back. Oh. You player 570 means hundreds of hours of playtime. Why? It's saying. Uh, Hang on. Now, Marn, can you give there me a go. little bit of a briefer of uh, what the what the point of Psychic Damage Tetris is? If this is my first time watching, first time competing. So the point of Psychic Damage Tetris sure. is. Uh, Sorry, I had to put a piece down. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> the point of Psychic Damage Tetris is that uh, if you are the first person to get out, uh, you get the privilege. I, I won't say you have to. I, I think it's more of a uh, sort of like... God has ordained you. <laughs> yeah, God has ordained you uh, to, uh, to read like... I. The original post that, we, that I took the idea from, it, it was just, like, cursed fan fiction. But we've since expanded. I, I know that people have brought other things besides fan fiction to the table this year. Yes. Uh, including myself. Uh, in, in order to sort of, like, throw everybody else off of their game, basically. I, I like that energy. I like that attitude. Thank you for clearing it up for me. A first time, first time watcher, first time player, first time caller. <laughs> Over here, not even knowing the buttons, oh, figuring it out as I go. How are you? How are you attacking me? Uh, down the bottom of the screen, you can uh, you can choose. Who oh, you someone's target. out. That would be so, me. That would be CJ up? over here. Who did DJ, not what, what do you got? What are you bringing buttons? to book club? Okay, so I'm assuming that everybody is familiar with H Bomber Guy's very famous video on Pathologic. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. So we all know that this game is. Um, obtuse. It's also my very favoritest thing. So I've brought you pathologic fan fiction, which is Ooh. hopefully every bit as impenetrable as the actual game. Here mm. we go. I'm ready. Nine years ago, Simon lured Artemy into performing an intimate rite that was meant to let them both plumb the secrets of the living earth, but the earth was more powerful than even Simon expected, taking possession of Artemy's body and fusing itself with his soul. 
By sending Artemy to the capital, Simon and Isidore gave him the chance to live something like an ordinary life. But now, an urgent letter from his father has called Artemy home, and the Earth is reaching out to reclaim its beloved vessel with a fatal disease raging through his town and an inhuman, inexorable soul growing like roots through his own. Artemy may have to choose between living on as himself and saving the people he loves. This is just like Friends at the Table. This is a 116,000 long word fic, and to be clear, I actually kind of love it Holy after reading shit. it. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 we have... That's called Stockholm, I believe. <laughs> that's fan fiction Stockholm, is what we call that. I don't think it takes place in Stockholm. I think it's like a... <laughs> Pathologic takes place in a small up. Russian town, is that correct? Oh, yeah. It, uh, uh, we don't know when this Russian town exists, but it exists. It's fine. You don't need to know anything about it. You don't need context. We're in it. Simon's Wing of the Crucible, all good. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Joey takes first stock. <sighs> wow. Good game. Good game. Jeff, mm -hmm. Jeff Jory watching you too. Good game. I thought I was dead multiple times insane. there. I, I, I also there, thought I, you were dead. <laughs> I, I bungled it a couple times at the very end Dubs, there. Wow. Dubs, Dubs, we are worry, keeping Jeff, this bloody private. Everyone's on this call. We are raising money right now for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And so the point of this is first person out has to read some shit. Has to read some really interesting <laughs> literature. <laughs> oh, All right, we ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, again? absolutely. I'm get, getting the rust yeah. off. I'm, I'm getting back. Yeah, into the I'm, absolutely. This thing. I, I figure we we play a couple round, like a couple standard rounds, to like let everybody get the rust out. <laughs> and, uh... Get the rust out, not your daddy's Tetris. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'd like to mention that I'm that the version of the program I'm using has ads in it. Uh, presumably, I, presumably I'd have to oh, pay. Yeah. Uh, I just got to see a little banner ad for Arnold's bread. <laughs> what? I just get stuff for like Arc Knights or whatever. <laughs> so, what is it that causes you to attack my screen? What do I have to do to prevent that in the future? Um, <laughs> it's the if oh, it's, you got to win um, faster. Oh, this is yeah. It's um, it's 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 getting good, is what it is. Uh, yeah, that, that is true. These are all really good and helpful <laughs> suggestions. It, I think for than, your you, clarity. If you score more than one line or um a combo, you'll start sending yeah. lines okay. to people. Okay. Or if people are sending lines to you, it eliminates it. Like cuts down on the lines that you are receiving. Heard. You can also okay. choose down at the bottom, like like how you how you want to target people. Is there Heard. a button for that, or do I have to like move my hands and click? Uh, so there are keybinds. I think it's numpad yeah, if you're playing on keyboard. Yeah, it's it's numpad. It's one two three four. <laughs> I'm never going to do that. <laughs> nope, ditto. Yeah. <laughs> if you're playing with a if you're <laughs> if you're playing with a controller, you flick the thumbstick in different directions. Yeah. All right, I'm just playing with the loudest the right keyboard thumbstick. in the world, so that's kind of where my whole whole shit kind of locks in. <laughs> Well, your, your keyboard is made of, oh like, glass or whatever it is, and you Ceramic. can't see the keys. Ceramic? <laughs> yeah. No, it's glass. Tori's right. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> it's actually Tori's broken not correct, glass. But they're Riley right. is a... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit, Marn. All right, Tell us a tale. <clears throat> There's no detention at my high school. Instead, they send you to the wasp room. I was still <laughs> from our slash no sleep. I was still relatively new. We'd only moved here a month before, and I'd only been enrolled in the school for about a week. It's a rural place on the west coast, and there aren't even that many kids. A few hundred or so. They were friendly enough. Some douchebags, but you know how it is. It could have been worse. It was the teachers that made me nervous. The dread I felt when the morning bell rang. The unease radiating steadily and perpetually off my classmates at all hours of the school day. It was more than just regular high school stuff. I could feel it. I just couldn't even explain it. And it didn't make sense either. The teachers actually seemed kind of nice. Friendly, even. None of the kids got in any real trouble. No one got sent to detention. So one day I asked my desk neighbor to explain it to me before class started. To my surprise, however, she hushed me, glanced to the door, and then told me in quick, quiet tones about the wasp room. <laughs> I laughed it off at first. It sounded like a joke, but she didn't laugh with me. She just stared at me, pale-faced and lips tight, and that was the end of it. 
The interaction was brief, but it stuck with me. The Wasp Room. What the hell was that? Was it an acronym, maybe? Maybe it was a nickname that kids had come up with. Maybe it simply was detention, but everyone was really, really scared of it? I didn't understand. I started hearing about it more often after that, though. I started noticing it in conversation. Have you ever heard of the Bader Meinhof phenomenon? It's when you get told something for supposedly the first time, and then you start seeing and hearing it everywhere. That's what the wasp room was like for me. I heard its name whispered by the lockers, muttered behind hands at recess. It's heard freaking me the hell out. I looked for a wasp room sign on the doors of the corridors for a hint, a clue as to what it could possibly be, but I saw nothing. It wasn't until the end of the second week that I had my first real experience of the wasp room's power. We were waiting for our history teacher to arrive. Oh, it's unlike her to be late, so the kids were making use of the bonus free time, chatting amongst themselves, messing around just a little, but generally keeping calm. Hmm. All except for one guy on the other side of the room. He had a bottle of water half cracked open and was shooting blasts of spray all over the kid in front of him. Cut it out, man, the kid called back to him, frustrated, but the assailant didn't. He just laughed and did it again. The kids around him were urging him to stop now, too. Quit it, Mark, before she comes back, they urged him desperately. Some even reached out to try and take the bottle from his hands. But he kept on spraying, and then the kids around all stopped to intervene at once. <laughs> they were silenced immediately with their hands on the desk and their heads face forward as the classroom door okay, swung open. That's it. That's it. I just can't understand why you'd ever fuck around if they put you in the wasp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll never find out what happened to that kid. <laughs> I think it's I a wasp, the wasp room. room. <laughs> if Jeff. If Jeff um, loses yeah, a match, he gets room. put in the, wa- the wasp room. That's why he's so good. <laughs> My ad is currently for Jordan's Furniture. <laughs> oh, I'm getting uh, some charity. <laughs> Jeff's Wasp Room. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting an ad for the Wasp Room, actually. Thank you. Thank you for the $10. Thank you for the $15. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Thank you. Oh, my God. God. Fucking wasp room. <laughs> Didn't every school have a wasp room? Yeah, uh, doesn't every school have their own wasp room? Yeah. Oh, Has this ever happened to you? This is never happened to you. I was mm. homeschooled, but I really didn't think that was why. That's why you had a wasp room? No, they, 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 every school had a wasp room. My parents wanted me safe from them. <laughs> Oh, fuck that Your parents really love you. They wouldn't, they wouldn't let you experience the wasp room like a true American. I get told that. It's sometimes. enrichment. Yeah, I get told that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck me. Bing. God, and I'm so fucking you. dumb. Yo, yeah, what's up, dog? It's okay. You don't have to answer me. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Jory's locked in. <laughs> I'm kind of a chatter. Oof. I have like I've got that. I, I I'm I'm usually trying to serve Spider Man in some way. You know what I mean? And so, <laughs> serve what? serve him with papers. <laughs> no, I get what Riley means. It was just no, very funny. <laughs> papers, no, please. There we go. Yeah. I I don't know why my mind immediately went to Riley's trying to divorce Spider Man, but that is where it went. I it's mean, listen, that's a difficult relationship. Right. He leads that's a the double fanfic, life. That's the fanfic we, we got to write so we can read it during Psychic Damage Tetris. Yeah. And then she I was thinking about serving Spider-Man dinner. one final blast of cold water over the back of the kid's neck. I saw the expression on Mark's face change completely. Terror Speaking. replacing the lazy egg arrogance, his taunting smile gone in an instant. He fumbled with the bottle and dropped it loudly to the floor and it leaked as it rolled around into the leg of his desk. There was silence and our teacher slowly shook her head. Bullying will not be tolerated, Mark, she said quietly. Please, he said suddenly, panic rising at the edges of his voice. Please, Miss Myers, please don't send me to the room. Please. She took it. She took a step closer, and her shadow was cast large against the wall behind her. Her eyes flashed, and the temperature in the room right. dropped like a stone. Mark, I have no choice. You know the punishment. You are to go to the wasp room. And watch. Like, here's the thing, though. Like, truly. <laughs> I feel like, like, if it was, like, the protagonist who was, like, I fucked around and then got sent to the wasp room, like, that I would buy. 
Mark, you fucking knew. You fucking knew, Mark. You go to the wasp room <laughs> school. Yeah, like... Oh, the whole they way... They put it on the sign. <laughs> no, he screamed, and I jumped in alarm, staring as he fell to his knees on the floor. He clasped together his hands. Please, please, no. If you're set upon causing a scene, Mark, you know the consequences. I suggest you take yourself yeah, off. Yeah, you knew the, the fucking room. consequences, Mark. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Yeah, I want to learn about what the consequences are. <laughs> to my surprise, Mark's victim himself um, actually came to his defense. Oh shit. He Whoa. tried to speak out in support of him to say that it was honestly no oh, big fuck. deal. But with a quick stern look from the teacher and an outstretched finger, he was compelled to silence. <laughs> oh. And Mark would not go. He continued to scream and beg. I looked around the room. No one else was even reacting. No one seemed to be doing a thing but staring straight ahead. My heart was beating like I never expected it to. Not here, in a school. But Mark wouldn't stop, and especially, and eventually two men in gray strode calmly through the classroom door, grabbed him by the arms, and dragged him swiftly from the room and down the corridor until he could be heard no more. Wow. <laughs> hey, great cutoff. Great timing. <laughs> wow. Riley, good final stand there. Good Thank you. It's good, very good game. Good game. Wait, wait, did you, oh, did you, did you, did you. Oh my god. If we're ever gonna be able to hear what Jeff has for us tonight, we're gonna need to all target him. All target how him. Ta how do I target Jeff Storber? Uh, there is no right? Jeff Storber no. button on here, unfortunately. My current <laughs> ad is for the Kardashians. New episode Thursdays on Hulu. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. <laughs> See, th there is a way to target people, I just can't remember how. I'm clicking Alice on not yet. rooting for me to lose. I, I thought it was just more wasp them. room. Two people are targeting me, so if y'all want to not do that, actually, you should three do that to me. me. I, I want to read my thing. Is Jeff? You're not as dangerous as Jeff is. Thank no you. I'm, I'm actually, I don't think I'm very dangerous at all. I wasn't to talking to you, but sure, you too. Thanks, Oz. Oh no. Fuck. Riley can be included. I don't have to be though, if you don't want to. What are we talking about? I don't know. You just are, right. I feel like I'm being threatened. <laughs> so there's just a fear in my spirit. I, okay, good. I do feel like I'm threatening you, but I don't really know why. <laughs> this is the great part about doing this at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it has a certain energy to it. Yeah. You have a certain energy, do you? Thanks. You're welcome. Or... <laughs> Oh, that's a big jump. Who could have Beppo? What is happening? <laughs> I always say that when I'm going to Puka de Beppo. Did I tell you it took me a really long time to learn that Puka de Beppo is a real place, and for a while I just thought it was Italian gibberish, just like Bada Bing? <laughs> yes, <laughs> because you just made my burrito. Because didn't have you ever been to Earth? Oh, On Earth, we use the word burrito to describe a tortilla filled with things that you eat. Pretty I simple stuff, and I'm surprised this. you at least yeah. cut that part this is right. All true, true so far. My burrito was, in fact, I filled with exactly food. This post. In oh, this, true. you and I agree and are friends. But this is also where my lifelong hatred begins for you and anyone else whose brain has been repeatedly scrubbed with the same mixture of bleach and pop rocks as yours has. Because that should have killed you, but left you around long enough to do what you did to me today. Let me explain. You're an idiot. Let me further explain. <laughs> Burritos are eaten from one end to the other. So that means when you assemble a burrito with motherfucking zones of ingredients going that direction, you create a disgusting experience for the burrito's end user. When you make a burrito, you should put the ingredients in layers lengthwise. That way, every bite has at least a fucking chance of getting at least two types of ingredients and there is little chance of becoming almost hopelessly trapped in a goddamn cilantro cavern. <laughs> Have you ever eaten one of the things you make all fucking day? You should try one. They're pretty good when you're not willing yourself through the fucking empire of sour cream only to end up in lettuce country. 
When you eat a burrito, you don't stand it up and bite down on it lengthwise like a fucking Frank Rancor. <laughs> Humans can't usually dislocate their jaws, and I'm not a fucking pelican. But you must Nothing. think that's how it's done, since that would be the only fucking way to take a bite of your crapstrosity and have it taste like a burrito. And guess what else, player? You probably can't guess anything, because I'm pretty sure you put the mop with the hat on it that fell over and spilled some shit into a tortilla. But just in case, here's what. Humans also don't eat burritos like fucking corn on the cob. Like a fucking from one end to the other a little at a time, and then ding! Next line. But today, I wish I had tried that, because then at least I would be able to eat some rice, then beans, and then be all like, hey beans, I'll be right back, just going over here to the guacamole for a second. Nope. My experience was more like, hey beans, it's just gonna be you and me for a few minutes till I can fucking excavate the rice from beneath you. But by then, you'll be a fading memory. Oh hey, I was wrong, I'm in the fucking cheese sphere. Now rice must be next, I hope it's not another fucking salsa pocket. You built this thing like a fucking pack of life sinks. You don't even fucking think I'm about to open this shit up and re-engineer your nonsense 90 degrees. I already put a hole in it with my fucking mouth. Yeah, that's how I discovered you fucking suck at looking at things. I'm not going to do fucking tortilla origami to get this shit back together, only to end up with a burrito that's been shot in the gut and is bleeding your ineptitude. What's that? I should ask you to mix it up first next time? Is this Jamba Juice? I don't want to drink my fucking burrito through a bending straw. And I don't want a pile of burrito soup in a flour can. I just want a burrito. In conclusion, you are the worst thing that has ever happened to the universe. You owe everyone everywhere an apology for this burrito abomination, and I hope your babies look like monkeys. Can you start from the top again? You still get that. Just eat it with a fork. A fucking fork? I didn't order the fucking Cabarito salad. If anyone ever handed me a burrito with a fork, they would be wearing a brand new burrito hat for my fall collection 10 seconds later. That's like buying a car and having them hand you a fucking wrench with the keys. Like, yeah, we know this motherfucker's going to explode and be spread across eight lanes as soon as you hit the gas, but shit, we gave you a wrench, so be cool. Jesus already gave me two burrito forks, one at the end of each arm. They're called fucking hands. A fork. My god, I haven't cried since I was six, but I'm fucking sobbing now. People eat burritos with game, forks. Game, god, game, sorry, game, you made us. Game, game. Alright, holy <laughs> The hatred kind of motivated me. I know that it makes me so much. It sounds like a really bad burrito. <laughs> I've been there. I mean, that just sounds like the average baby. burrito you get from like a Qdoba. I think yeah. about that post every fucking time I go to Chipotle. <laughs> I was gonna say that's Chipotle, that's <coughs> Moe's, that's all of them. A Poncheros oh actually is the only one that has invented the little spoon they mix your shit around with. <laughs> you gotta go to a real place. That's just, that's real like burrito. every yeah. burrito. <coughs> the ult about Poncheros is that their burritos suck shit. <laughs> you need a Chad Authentico. Hell yeah, let's okay. do this. Oh, what's more into the breach? So I have to click Jeff from Podcasts. <laughs> I don't know if that actually, I don't know if we decided. Uh, said I do have, I now have three people there. targeting me, so I believe that does in fact work. Oh, Sick. excellent. So if anybody else wants to click. Jeff's like, yeah, bring it. Jeff's like, come at the king, you better not fucking miss. Honestly, uh, I, I do kind of want to, like, I don't want What's to eliminate like? myself, but I do really want to read the thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So I'm like, as do we all. That's what nightmare mode is for. <laughs> Jeff, are you the person who brought a uh, wrestling fan fiction last year? Or was that Jory? No, that was me. I brought okay. uh, WWE uh, Wild Ca yeah, West. Yeah, the cowboy fan, fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The Shield fan fiction. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's right. right. Fuck. I was uh. I was looking up the VODs to make sure what I'm reading tonight wasn't something that came up before. And the good news is, it's not. Okay, and what's, the bad news? What's the bad news? <laughs> You'll find out when I lose. Uh, uh, well, not yet. And if we don't, if I don't lose, well... Peach walked into her house, no. humming and dancing oh, no. through the doorway. 
She was in a particularly happy mood today. The renovation of her house was finally complete. When I was a child. It now had 13 bedrooms, 28 bathrooms, four laundry rooms, 10 different living areas, 19 kitchens, 23 dining rooms, nine porches and balconies, two libraries, three swimming pools, four ballet rooms, two gymnasiums, a bowling alley, and more closets filled with dresses than she even cared about. She danced into the kitchen, planning to make a celebratory cake. She flipped through her many cookbooks to find... And finally took down cakes, everything you need to know about the mouth-watering delicacy. She flipped it open to the table of contents. Carrot cake. Now there's something I haven't made in a while. She opened up to page 741 and scanned the recipe. Then she got out a cushioned pink mixer, a hot pink pan, and a bright pink tray, and got to work. In fact, everything Peach's house was pink, from the vegetables right down to the pipes. The only things that weren't pink in Princess Peach's house were the pictures of the man she loved, with that red suit and that hand- with that red suit to that handsome mustache. Suddenly, Peach got a spark of inspiration. I know, she said aloud, I'll invite Mario over for my cake. He'll be so happy. He does love his cake. Peach now with a new motive. Where the fuck is this going? Mixing the batter even harder. Stirring as fast as Sonic runs. At Mario's wow. house. Mama Mia, Mario yelled as his wrench accidentally screwed <laughs> Sorry, up sorry, Jay. Can I, can I get another read on that Mama Mia? <laughs> Mama Mia. Mario yelled as his wrench accidentally <laughs> screwed out the wrong nail, causing water to spray everywhere. Luigi, help me fi help me find my uh, nail. <laughs> what did you uh, say, bro? Asked Luigi, his bathing I... trunks on and a glass of lemonade in his hand, entering the pool of water that had formed. He took a breath and dived under, but emerged screaming. Ah, my nose. <clears throat> he yowled, clutching it. There was a nail wedged in the middle of his nose. He oh. went around in circles, still screaming. Thanks, little brother, Mario said, rolling his eyes. He plugged the nail from Luigi's nose and screwed it back into the pipe. The doorbell rang. Luigi, will you get a that? Still clutching his nose, Luigi walked over to the door. Hello? The postman was standing in front of we Luigi. Don't know who's there. Who knows what'll happen? We don't know we'll, who's never, there. we'll never know. That is from uh, Life in Smash Mansion, which is just a Smash Bros. fanfiction of some kind. Wow. All right, gamers. Oh. Yeah. Jeff's boss room is so funny to me. <laughs> Every time, I keep forgetting it, like, puts it up really big on the screen when you start the game. <laughs> it's me, the Watts room. Oh, how's everyone doing tonight? We don't know what happens next. As issue. I w so I will say this is that is only a one part no sleep story. I have brought more in case I get through wasp room. <laughs> God, I we need I've to find brought, out the full um, Lost Room saga. I've brought like you a ten parter. Stupid. You can't that spoil I, it. That I personally have read. Shit. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Damn it all the hell. Same. I don't know what that's like. You're a good Catholic. I'm per. Yeah, I'm, I'm perfect. The wasp room has nothing for me. <laughs> I'm now immune. Listen, Jay, I, I would simply happened. not be in the wasp room. <laughs> I would simply be a well-behaved boy. Yeah, that's that's really what it comes down to, I think. I think if my parents put me in the wasp room, it would have fixed me. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's Wish that's. Hey, I don't think you should think that. <laughs> <laughs> which not, I hate. Not that Catholic. Which fictional characters do we think would uh, react really well to being in the Wasp room? <laughs> oh, don't even get me started. 
Oh, <laughs> Shigeo, have you been to the wasp room? Oh, no. All right. Oh, I sat there in oh. shock, barely able to focus, and making my notes with a pen held in trembling fingers. And I couldn't take it anymore. This wasn't some silly game or an in joke. This was something terrifyingly real. So that afternoon on the bus there home, sure I was. asked one of my new classmates about it. I asked for the truth. Quiet, she hissed at me. We were sat near the back, and she saw a paranoid glance down the bus and over the seats, beckoning me closer. She hesitated, and then whispered something into the ear of the boy next to her. Yeah, he replied. She should know. She needs to, actually. For her sake. So we spoke in whispers at the back of the bus, and they anxiously told me the tale of the wasp room. It was as the name suggested, they told me. The kids who misbehave were dragged down through darkened corridors to a door at the end of the hall. You can hear the buzzing from there, they say. You can hear it grow. The drone of perpetual malice behind the final door. They throw you in and keep you there for however long they decide until you've learned your lesson and then they just let you out. So no way, I replied. You can't oh. be serious. There's just no, no way. way. So wasp? There's no way. What? No way. <laughs> You're telling me that the school has a room full of just wasps? <laughs> the kids looked at each other but did not laugh. They did not break into a joke. They just regarded me solemnly. The boy looked forward. The boy leaned forward. Have you heard the story of Dan Martinez? I shook my head. The rain I gotta beat, down I gotta beat the this muscle. before I hear. The, I do not want to hear the story of Dan Martinez. I, I got to the story of Dan Martinez. They say he was the first kid to ever get an after-school stay in the wasp room. <laughs> Joy, you have to live for Dan. The king did struggles and fought the entire way down the I corridor. Not, I will not learn the story of Dan Martinez. <laughs> oh, my microphone's been Amanda. fucked up for a while. Oh, no. Oh, word. Welcome back. Glad to have you, Hoss. What is the wasp room? Well, Leo, you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get Martin, you gotta start from the top again. <laughs> The... <laughs> it's a room full of wasps where the school sends the bad kids. <laughs> Question I'm glad we played about the that. School. Instead, they have the wasp room. <laughs> the questions about what the wasp room is can be answered by the sign that says wasp room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's where the all the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants are. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so they said be better, so I can just do that. Yeah, that's that's the main thing I think I'd recommend. <laughs> you're doing pretty well, Riley, I would say. Yeah, you're actually doing fine. Yeah, but I want to do better. Riley, yeah, the longer like you last, the longer worse, the stories so can be read. I am playing miserably tonight. I think probably because I've barely yeah. eaten today, but... <laughs> Have you considered eating? I do have a, a, a pepperoni and cheese calzone oven. in yeah, the oven baby. right now. That's, that's, yeah, that's, baby! That's living. I'm not going to lie to you. That's living. It was uh, discounted because it expires tomorrow, so it's even cheaper. <laughs> nice. Yeah, baby! That's living. That's living. Oh, can I build this higher? Can you, Can you take me higher? Can you take me higher? Oh. I love how many of us heard that and just fucking went for it. <laughs> yeah, we were like, well, what the fuck am I gonna do? Not sing it? Ahem. Ahem. Oh a dramatic reading. Of the bodybuilding.com. <laughs> Wait. All right. Full body oh. workout every other day. Posted by yeah, user. Man. Hell, yeah. <laughs> hell yes. Hell yes. Is it safe to do a full body workout every other day? I have only have limited days I can get to the gym. Oh, and lastly, instead of doing more. upper body or lower body, I just do full body strength workouts. Fuck Jesus. Response. Uh, if I go at response, uh, most beginner intermediate programs are full body workouts. Three times a week, you oh, should God. be safe. If I go to the, if I go every other day, I'll be at the gym four to five times a week. Is that overtraining? I typically work out for 60 to 90 minutes. I push myself and raise the weight each week. Response. That makes no sense. There are only seven days in a week. If you go every other day, that's three and a half <laughs> times a week. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, oh. that's four days. How do you go three and a half times? Do you do a half workout or something? LOL. 
seven times in two weeks is three and a half times a week, genius. And yeah, three times a week, full body workouts are good. I never said anything about going exactly seven times. Like I said, if I go every other day, that is four days a week. How hard is that to comprehend? Week one, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Week two, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Eight days in two weeks, in your terms. Eight times in two weeks, four times a week, genius. All muscle and no brains, LOL. You double counted Sunday, that is two weeks plus one day. Did you fail grade two math? Plus your old post said four or five times a week. Now you just neglect to mention the five? Grow up and admit when you are wrong. Believe me, you will get a lot further in life this way. Are you Arsler? Maybe you should look at a calendar. I did not double count Saturday. My two weeks started and ended on Sunday, exactly 14 days. What don't you understand? Edit, here is a calendar. I made little dots for each day so you could comprehend. The image is no longer on this post. Dude, that is 15 days. Are you fucking mental? You cannot have a week go Sunday to Saturday, then Sunday to Sunday. Look at the damn pic you posted. Count the days. What do they equal 15? Kids these days. I was right, three and a half times a week, and so was the first guy to post it. You, my friend, right friend are El Rongo. <laughs> it is 14 days. Try again. <laughs> Maybe you should try counting on your fingers? If you work out on the 8th, you wouldn't start counting days until the 9th because that's one day. Then the 10th would be two days and so on until you get to the 22nd, which is 14 days. <laughs> Count the fucking days. How many days are in two weeks, moron? 14. I am saying you train seven times in two weeks, which in other terms is three and a half days. Let's go, let's go. I will pick up I will pick up with Justin 27's post. Should I have to read again? I love that three. Yeah, I uh what a great pick. I haven't I haven't heard all this in so long. Count the fucking it's a classic. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm I'm switching our game mode up here. Oh, God. Um, okay. This is one that Al sent me. I gotta you, find how to do mm. it. Um. Uh, this oh, ad is I, a stock okay, image it, of a man it, tending it. to a garden, and it says, "Get up to eight hundred dollars." Asterisk. Donating plasma. See, I just keep getting ads for Mountain Dew on mine and Pepsi. I'm not kidding. You can check the VOD later. <laughs> Lucky. If you're honest enough to put the asterisk, like, we both know you're not going to get those $800. Can, why? Can I ask everybody why you don't have several ad blockers all turned on? Uh, some of us are using the app. And yeah, I play through the desktop app. You're valid. Yeah, you're I'm valid. playing through the app. Right. I'm just very fascinated by Jeff's oh. no. Welcome to same oh. sex marriage is legal in Tetris. Oh, oh thank you. We are winning. Oh, let's fucking go. Okay. The quality oh. win. Oh, this oh is my something. god. I love this. Okay. I'm so, so I'm happy. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, Welcome to die. To Will there ever be lines? <laughs> oh no. I I just saw one. There's hope. I see. There he is. There he is. You have to you have to line it up. You have to believe. It's it's all about the heart of the fucking cards. That's you're yeah. goddamn right. No, that's true. Yeah, that's good. That's Can I really save good. you? I should save noted you. card game Tetris. Why is that yeah. targeting me? Let's no, talk that's about good. This. No, that's good. That's real I'm, good. I'm not paying attention to who I'm targeting. I'm just trying to survive. Every day, I try to click on Jeff Stormer first. <laughs> <laughs> See, if it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out. See, here's the thing. For, you guys need to like half target Jeff, half target me, and then uh, <laughs> everyone else will stand a chance. I just need to no, because if I keep if I keep letting you go all the time, then you can't eat your food, which means you'll stay at a lower level. <laughs> no, well, here's the, <laughs> I don't no. think that's how that works. It, it, oh, no, oh, I, I like no. This is, is this is this is a uh, Goku giving cell the sensu bean <laughs> oh, for, I'm, before I'm Gohan. It's all over for me. It's all all right. So what do you, what, what do you got, Hopkins? <sighs> we got here. Good stories have good first paragraphs. They're to draw on the reader, make them want more, or just upright confuse them. 
I'm a shit writer, so I have a shit first paragraph. But the thing that should make you keep reading is the knowledge that the story about to unfold tells how no matter how unlikely it seems, the end to your life is never as far away as we'd like. 2011. Finally, my high school life had ended. I had watched all my friends a year older than me graduate and move on with life. Nick, Cody, and Ben, hell, even Anthony had gotten out. I was a free man. My dad always said, you can do anything, son. You just have to put your mind to it. Well, I don't know what happy world he lived in, because I got out of high school and fell face first to a job at Mojo's, and that's it. I was never able to get out of my hometown, never able to go to a good college, never able to go do all those things that dad said someone with my brain's potential could do. Not saying I didn't try, of course. 2012. After being stuck in town for a year, had a go-nowhere job, I'd caught some kind of high school friends being back in town. Nick and Cody, they were both back. I was pretty stoked, thinking one of them would drop in sooner or later. But nope, I'd got nothing. Me and Ben and Brad had been able to take the Demon Ducks to a semi-popular level. We weren't at great status, but I got by. Point I'm trying to make, I had money. Not in abundance. I was able to buy an apartment for myself. Nothing flashy. It worked. After I got home from work on the 14th, I had stumbled into my empty apartment, I swearing to myself over a pint of Guinness <laughs> about, about how my dad was right and I should have listened to him, when I flipped on the news to hear of a riot. Usually this kind of news excites me. I love the sound of people rebelling and, feel, and feeling people kick the man's ass. But as I leaned close to my TV, I saw a couple things that just didn't slide together with my knowledge of rioting people. They were walking towards the National Guard, not running. Not armed even, but walking slowly. I looked closer, listening for the reason they were riding, but they were quickly hopped to the next story. Naturally, I wanted to learn more about this. I still had my outdated and beaten up Macintosh from sophomore year. So I leached off my neighbor's internet and I looked for something to connect with the riot. I looked for civil rights rallies, protest marches, strikes. I looked for a draft even, but nothing. I went to bed that night confused. I had to move on to it as the next day I started and went back to work. Four days I heard about it. I was at work when I overheard. That's polite talk for eavesdrop. A customer talking to someone on their cell phone. They were talking about their son or something. He was in the hospital. The police officer just bit him. That's game. That's game. <laughs> I have here a paper copy of a uh, friend fiction that I wrote in high school. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Holy That's shit. That's a good fucking reveal to deploy at the end. Goddamn. <laughs> Written by hey. me, this printed by Chris Hutton. <laughs> hey Riley, why did you say Guinness like you'd never read the word before? Because uh, I was like, I want to drink a stout that I remember I hadn't drank anything till I was twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fast and answered. That was me going like, should I edit this live hey, right now to be more realistic? Hey, 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 Marn, I have a quick question. Yes. What what was the trick there? I could not figure out what the gimmick was, and that was bothering me. I wanted to know uh, what the trick was. I changed random bag type to pairs, and it just alternates oh. between two. Uh, <laughs> that's that's good. Two tetraminos. That's good. Mm. <laughs> Did. Was it just like a thing that people wrote friend fiction of themselves and their friends in middle school and high school? Because I had a friend in middle school who wrote like a really elaborate friend fiction of like everybody in our grade getting final destination. <laughs> so cool. And it wasn't it wasn't even like a sort of a complicated revenge thing. It was like a bunch of us were into it and we were like, oh yeah, I want to die in like increasingly fucked up ways. <laughs> we uh. I, I did that when I was like a kid. I drew me and my friends as like a team of superheroes. Um, I think I had psychic powers, and um, I don't think anyone I knew was writing friend fiction when I was a teen. But uh, the like teen group at the local library I went to, we started having really in depth conversations about how we would barricade the library in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and what you've just described going? about like everyone being into it and being like, oh yeah, this is how I would die, really speaks to me on that level. Because we were like, yeah, okay, and this would be your job. Here's how we would board up these windows. I, I had a phase uh, where I wrote one that was about Medusa, me and my friends all escaping Medusa, Whoa. except. Wow. Uh, Little CJ, being autistic and very sheltered, uh, named it Stoner, <laughs> with absolutely no context or awareness of why my friends were laughing after I did it. Awesome. I have just found uh, my friend Cody, who's mentioned in this story, uh, made a thing that got on the front page of Newgrounds that is all of us fighting a little flash animation. Oh I'm posting it in mainstream general. Oh, <laughs> wow. I, Everyone had custom uh, I, fighting groups. You'll notice me in there by, with my sweater that says Pwn on it. 
When I, I uh, mm. when I was in middle school, I was very into um, dot hack. So I wrote a friend fiction of uh, me and all of my friends going into like a fucking like MMO. Let's go. And like getting stuck in there as, as like fantasy. All right, I sorry, I had to write down a setting I was changing so I can change it back to the number it's supposed to be. Uh, this is Tetris makes you lose control. Okay. <laughs> this is another Al one. Tetris makes you lose control. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh dear. Here. Oh, you. Oh, no. Fastrest. For what it's worth, this is how I already play because I can't process the things that are happening on the left side of my, my right side of my oh. screen. No, oh, there's you, no, there's no save. No save pieces. Yeah. yeah. Oh, someone's out already. A couple of us just figured that out. <laughs> I had to turn the sound down on this animation. Oh yeah, no, it, I. Oh god! Oh fuck! Wait, did I? Did, did I? Did I lose? I, I think, think so. Am yeah. I in the game? Plus, I think you died immediately. I was busy looking at this flash animation i will i will let you call a mulligan on that one because i know that you had that new grounds flash animation open. that's a riley hopkins distraction tactic i kind of want to do i want to take it because i want to read this so that's fair uh as a moonshot may be based on the moon but i know many of its hosts are chicago or from or from chicago or chicago based yep. so Terrifying i'd like to read a bit of a, a local legend Okay, Boy. I'm ready. Dave Matthew, <clears throat> yes. Dave Matthews yes. Band Chicago exactly River Incident. Yeah, about. from, Let's from go. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Oh, On August eighth, two thousand four, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated eight hundred pounds—that's three hundred sixty kilograms—of human <laughs> waste from the bus's Blackwater tank through the Kinsey Street Bridge in Chicago onto an open-top passenger sightseeing boat sailing in the Chicago River below. As part of a 2005 legal settlement, the band agreed to pay $200,000 to environmental protection and other projects equivalent to $312,000 in 2023. The band also donated $100,000 to two groups that protect the river and the surrounding area, equivalent to $156,000 in 2023. The band's bus driver, Stefan Wool, pleaded guilty to dumping the waste in April 2005. Back he was a patsy. The Dave Matthews Band had booked rooms at the Peninsula Hotel of 108 East Superior Street for a two-night show at Alpine Valley Music Theater in East Troy, Wisconsin. The incident occurred between the first and second night of the concert. The band booked five buses for its show. Stefan Wall drove the bus of the band's violin violinist, Boy Tinsley. During warm months... The Chicago Architecture Center offers a boat tour of the buildings along the Chicago River. The boats have open roof seating where passengers sit during the tour. Most Chicago bridges fe feature riveted grating, which is used for its strength and anti-slip properties. Riveted grating allows rain, snow, and other liquids, which is a link to black water, to pass through, removing the, the need for complicated drainage systems or to salt the bridge deck during snow and assuring it does not ice over in wintry weather. Oh, that's game, baby. I came into that late. I was getting my thing out of the oven. Oh no! Yeah, I got a hot drop just into that one. Sorry. No, I, I don't. I don't care enough. I just think that's very funny. I like Tetris makes you lose control. Should we do another round of Tetris makes you lose control? I'd yeah. like another round. I'd like Tetris a chance. Makes you lose control. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, let me let me save the settings. Um, yeah, Al, Al in the chat says, This mode begs the question, what if Tetris did make you lose control? <laughs> I do feel myself losing control as I play this. What, <laughs> what the heck? Hang on. Am I? You can't say hang on. I, 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 it looks like I've exited the game by accident. Oh, oh no. well. Dead. You're out first, right? That, that doesn't mean you're out first, I believe. Mm, it, does it? I, no. I guess I'll... It's uh, up to you. Well, I would like to continue reading this well, story. Well, yeah, I guess it is up to you if you would like to continue reading more about Dave Matthews' mm -hmm. band. Dave Matthews' band dumping Ooh. shit on the people of Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was at a concert in Chicago a couple years ago, and the band referenced that, and people cheered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that uh, makes sense. Because it's a fucking Before I uh, 
It's very Before funny. I go into the incident section, I don't like to uh, highlight three Im the uh, images provided by Wikipedia. Uh, Kinsey Street Bridge, front, the location of the incident. Chicago's Lady Little Lady, the passenger boat involved in the incident, and Dave Matthews Band in 2005, just sort of <laughs> side by side, as well as an image of riveted grating. The riveted grate surface of the bridge allows liquids to pass through. The Chicago River is visible through the holes in the grate. Incident. On Sunday, August 8, 2004, at 1.18 p.m., Wall was alone in Tinsley's bus and driving to a downtown hotel when he emptied the bus's blackwater tank as it crossed the metal grates of the Kinsey Street Bridge. Passenger boat Chicago's Little Lady was hosting the 1 p.m. Chicago Architecture Foundation tour of the Chicago River. While passing under the bridge, the boat received the full contents of the tank on the seats of the <laughs> sure Tilburg Terrace. It sure did. The full contents. <laughs> Roughly two-thirds of the 120 passengers aboard the tour boat were soaked. The boat immediately returned to its dock, where all issue passengers were issued refunds. Five That's passengers good. went to Northwestern Memorial Hospital for testing. According oh, to no. Illinois Attorney General, the passengers aboard included persons with disabilities, elderly, a pregnant woman, a small child, and an infant. The, fil the filing describes the incident. <clears throat> The liquid waste was brownish yellow in color and had a foul, offensive odor. The liquid human waste went into passengers' eyes, mouths, and hair, and onto clothing and personal belongings, many of which were soaked. Some of the passengers suffered nausea and vomiting as a result of exposure to hu the human waste. The boat's deck was swamped by its crew and service was returned for its scheduled 3 p.m. tour. Aftermath. <laughs> oh, Jory! Oh, Jory! <laughs> that was gross. That was great. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting behavior. All right, Jory me, uh... dinner has, uh, has leveled them up. What did I tell you all? <laughs> no, well, here's the thing. That one, I because the first one, I took it on the oven. That time, I cut it, and then I was running back and told my girlfriend to put it on a plate and bring it to me like an asshole. <laughs> Ninja. So now I'm about to have a bite. Finally, I need it. I need it noted. Uh, before I go back to the bodybuilding forum, I have gathered some new material, and I'm very excited to be eliminated for my next elimination. What do you okay. mean? Other, don't, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> yeah, my my other thing that I have open is that uh, the man in my basement takes one step closer every week. So I'm excited to see if I get to that one. This oh, yeah, this real person fanfic is 150 pages. Holy oh, shit, God. Lord! Does it have like a conclusive ending, or did you guys just like stop writing it? Yes, it includes Nebraska, and then we have three different endings because it was written by three different writers. We would each take a different break to tag each other Holy. out. Holy, nice! That's awesome. All right, uh, I've I've set us to a Super Tetris Bros Melee, which is another Al one. Oh boy! Uh, every everybody has two stock. Oh fuck yeah! Hang on a fuck second. Fuck yeah, dude. Awesome. Hang on. <laughs> no. We're going. I'm sorry, Hoss. That just makes you lose control. That just makes you lose control. That really did make me lose control, for the record. <laughs> there are times where that can happen to a person. Is this a reaction? That just makes <laughs> Jeff specifically <laughs> lose yeah, control. Yeah, yeah, one specific person more than others. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair and valid. You're not you're not wrong. Holy shit. Someone doesn't like me. Jay, I know in my heart that was me. Yeah, I also did, but I wasn't gonna say it. I can always just feel it when it's you. I can too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Would you say you could feel it coming in the air tonight, Jay? Something <laughs> Not really. I, I I could be convinced to feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, I've been building very poorly. Oh, this I'm is stupid. Not well. Oh, I'm stupid. Well, no, I'm actually. Oh, this fine. is building up. Oh, I am stupid. No, I'm not. I'm a genius. This is the Tetris experience summed up in one guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> hey, it's the Tetris guy. It's Mr. Hey, Tetris. hey everybody. Hello. 
<laughs> you may know me from Tetris. <laughs> please don't make please please don't make fun of me like this. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I did not ask for this. <laughs> I did not ask oh, for Jeff, this life. Jeff Stormer from Tetris. <laughs> Whoa. Stormer from Tetrio. I did not ask for this life. The Tetris life will choose you at some point. That's I was I chosen if you for, didn't this. Ask for this life. Uh, how'd you get all those levels? Her, a cur I was cursed with this life. <laughs> <laughs> His soul was bound what, I think to that's Tetrio. What is about actually. <laughs> Fuck the shit. shit. Oh no. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, hello, hamburger pie. All right. Oh, Martin, wait, Martin, oh, I don't know if you I was watching. Oh. I quickly walked over to the customer. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help it over here. Someone was shot at the hospital, I asked, aiming for more information. Yes, apparently the patient had just bitten, and he shot him, apparently. Everything else he said slowly waded away into noise that was coming to the rest of the world. He'd been bitten. The patient had been bitten, and somebody shot him. Why did he shoot to kill? By the head. Suddenly the rifle flew back into my mind. They were walking, but they were unarmed. They don't look angry. What walks slowly bites and needs headshots to kill? Zombies. All the time I joked around as a kid came flying back to me like a bullet flying to my brain. I got on my work call as my cell rang. It was Cody. Just the person I was going to call. I picked up and heard him quickly telling me about the hospital. I cut him off. I know. And he told me to meet the rest of my team at High V tomorrow. <laughs> I went home and packed the bag and went to my closet, almost excited as I began throwing hoodies and shirts in a bag, grabbing my Macintosh computer and sliding it into the case with my guitar. I'm I so glad we know what kind of computer it is. <laughs> <laughs> I ran my clothes and smiled to myself. My dad thought I was ridiculous. Riley, he said, you live in Davenport. You don't have any enemies. Why do you need those? I said, like, just want... <laughs> I just I just want to be safe, I had replied. I replayed the same scenario in my head as I grabbed out two guns. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> a revolver. I just want to be safe. Rifle, but I put <laughs> it off eBay. Let's take a moment and say that Riley has done a lot of growing in a lot of years. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I had extra ammunition keeping the revolver on my side. I loaded it all into my car. <laughs> and ben had already heard from Cody, so he was packing himself. Brad was off in Canada. He was Canadian, so I'm sure he already knew. I'm glad you told us that the Canadian was in Canada. <laughs> The next morning, I found it on Drew's door, worried I was going crazy. <laughs> Drew opened the door, looking at me. He was ready. He believed me. He had on his old checkerboard bandana, wearing it like he was Rambo or something. Oh, or something. <laughs> Take that shit off. You got your stuff, I asked him. He nodded, pulling out from behind the board a bag of clothes, a baseball bat, a set of knives. <laughs> I he grabbed his shit and threw it in my car, getting him in the back, and we began to head off to High V. The roads weren't as busy as usual. I'm sure no one but us knew why. So we hurried to the High V parking lot, turning into a spot and waiting. We waited for a little bit more before we saw a familiar Honda Element right over the horizon. <laughs> Pulling in next to us, I saw Ben get out, hearing a door open on the other side, and I raised my eyebrow. Then I saw a grunging looking kid peek out from behind the car. Shorty, me and Drew were both shouted, going to hug him, our friend Shorty. Dude, nice to see you again. I said, I'm looking at the back of the car and seeing Chris get out. But more importantly, Bear, my cousin's dog, hopped out. Ah, I yelled joyously. More Hung importantly the than Chris. More importantly <laughs> than Chris Hutton. <laughs> <laughs> this dog is the smartest dog ever. I swear to fucking god. I got up to spend I got up after spending time with Bear, started to talk with Ben and Chris and Jordy and Drew. After Ben got there, Nick and his care in his, his Toyota caravan came. Nick, Sarah, Jesus, and Twig. They, this is an important note that we had a friend that was nickname was Jesus. Uh then Cody screeched in, then finally Eric, Trevor, and Nick. I was and other Nick. <laughs> I was pumped. Now we were just waiting for Anna and Allison when screeching into the parking lot, blaring music, came a black van. What the? I exclaimed. Hearing this thing intrude, I was prepared. At least I was ready for zombies. But I didn't know this was going to be raiders, too. Sup. It was Anthony. Who told Anthony we were meeting here? I threw up my arms in disgust. He was the last person I'd want to deal with this with the last people on Earth. I did, Cody said, glaring at me sternly. He began to give me a speech about how I'm supposed to care that my, 
Oh, <laughs> you keep giving that. me a speech about how I'm supposed to care that my post-apocalyptic plans were just ruined. So I can bring it through people too, right? Someone else said. And he agreed and again tried to preach to me, but I ignored him, just constantly seeing the ugly face of Anthony in the vicinity so something broke my glare. <laughs> Anthony was our friend. He lived with Chris for several years. Like, just uh, he did not deserve this vitriol. Yeah. What What did you do, Anthony? Yeah, what did Anthony do to you? What the fuck? Where what are we going to hold out? Anthony? Was he just an antagonist for this story, or did you like have like some kind of weird beef with him at the time? Yeah. Did you feel I'm this just... way about him for real? I think I felt this way about him for real, but I can't tell you why. I mean, in my in my friend from middle school's friend fiction, when her boyfriend dumped her, she like killed him off in her story and made up a second cooler boyfriend. Nice, so, oh, I get it. I mean, that does. I mean, that rips. To be clear, so I I, I don't want to take away from Riley's story, but I was recently reminded of a friend of mine and had like a ended a really bad relationship they were in, and then found out they wrote uh their final conversation together into a Death Steel fanfic. So. <gasps> Nice. And, and, oh, wow. not, and these are like I don't know, twenty-seven year olds. <laughs> ah. Oh, and they're oh. like both active fanfic writers, so it's like the person did it knowing that they would read it. <gasps> That's wow. better. Wow. Holy shit! Do you have the name of that? I do. don't, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We stayed at Hy-Vee to collect supplies for a while, but soon we were off on the road again. We drove onto the highway, capital H, following behind Cody, with Nick behind us. We drove as this giant train of cars on an almost desolate highway. We rode quietly, none of us really talking in the cramped car. <laughs> End of story. Good game, Jeff. Good lord. I like this wow. one. Let's do another one of these. Uh, that was fun. Dan, you're back in. Okay, cool. Is it quick, multiple quick question. Uh, yes. is Tetri yeah. This is not an open Tetrio lobby. We are raising money, and everyone is in this chat. Uh, quick question. Is, is your friend named Jesus, was his name like Jesus, or... No, his name uh, was Brandon. Was yeah, he guy was say, I, did right. he have long I, hair and a goatee at 18? He did not have a goatee, but he did have long hair. Okay, that's I'm why. I'm pretty sure I had match. this exact same type of kid. Like, not in my immediate friend group, but, like, I knew a guy who knew a guy who people called Jesus, and it was that exact same uh, criteria. Oh, my God. Three people are targeting me. Can nice. I touch Jeff? Right there. Thank you. I see this. I see it. <laughs> know that when you target Jeff, they see it. They know it's happening. You're hurting your Jeff Stormer friends when you do that. I mean, I have two people targeting it's, me, so... It's cute that, that you cool. think... It's cute that you think you can hurt me. <laughs> okay, well, you don't need to be mean about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking David Tennant, Doctor Who-ass thing to say. <laughs> that it's cute? Which one? Who? I don't know. <laughs> Just a Jeff's, but I don't know. Now you got me wondering. It's the vague essence of Doctor Who is in the air. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess so. I'm just a Jay, I'm gonna be laughing about that. <laughs> I'm glad that did something for you. <laughs> that got me. Honestly, that's gonna distract me more than a lot of things today. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The strategy <laughs> reveals itself! You got you got it in his head, Jay. <laughs> you gotta you gotta go for the brain. Boop. Oh, I screwed the pooch. Fuck. No. Oh, double no. Oh, come on. Oh, I, that that's gonna that's gonna be a costly mistake. Oh. Yep, that's gonna be a mistake. That's gonna. It's not you threatening me, is it? No, no, no. You sound a bit like a cartoonish villain telling something impossible. <laughs> That's going to be a possible mistake. Riley over a pit of acid. <laughs> Am I being tied to a railroad? Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? I just need to know in the fiction, okay? <laughs> Fucking hell. This is the fiction first game of Tetris. I We've really would like somebody else to lose first if that's at all possible for you, okay? Shit, shit, I fucked this up so bad. 
No. Oh, come on, gang. Come on, gang. Come on, gang. For me. Oh, your old pal Hopkins. Riley's just a little guy and it's their birthday. Nope. <laughs> He's just a little guy and doesn't want to read one of the things they brought. <laughs> M Marn and Jeff, Riley. I, I don't know if it's a Bravo show you guys watch, but my girlfriend is currently watching Below Deck. Oh, Jen watches Below I... Deck almost <laughs> religiously. So I know Below Deck because one of the uh, oh ladies God, who is on it... Um, All right, you know what? Uh, is on... Uh, Living the dream. Uh, I need to read a thing. I'm reading the no, thing. No, 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 it's me. It's me. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm uh, did, out. I, did you get out right... Did we get out almost at the same time? Yeah, I got out a little bit. Riley, I, I can, Riley, I can so jump I can on this for sweating. you if you'd like. <laughs> no, I got it. Way back when I was just a little bitty boy, living in a box under the stairs, in the corner of the basement of the house, half a block down the street from Jerry's bait shop. You know the oh, place. Oh shit, I'm still playing. Well, anyway, I back then, I know this. life was going just swell, and everything was just peachy. Except, of course, for the undeniable fact that every single morning, my mother would make me a big old bowl of sauerkraut for breakfast. <laughs> Big bowl of sauerkraut. Oh, what? Big bowl of sauerkraut. Every, Every single morning. Single morning. Every it was driving morning. me crazy. I said to my mom, I said, hey, mom, what's up with all the sauerkraut? And my dear sweet mother, she just looked at me like a, like a cow looks at an oncoming train. She leaned right down next to me and she said, it's good for good you. Good for you. And then she tied me to the wall and stuck a funnel in my mouth and force fed me nothing but sauerkraut until I was 26 and a half years old. And that's when I swore that someday, someday, I would get out of that basement and travel to a magical faraway place where the sun is always shining and the air smells like warm fruit beer and the towels are oh so fluffy where the Shriners play with their ukuleles all day long and anyone on the street will gladly shave your back for a nickel. Wacka wacka doo doo. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you people, it wasn't long at all before my dream came true. It was the very next day a local radio station had this contest to see who could correctly guess the number of molecules in Leonard Nimoy's butt. And I was off by three, but I still won the grand prize. That's right. A first class one-way ticket to uh, Jeff. Do you know where? Uh, I believe it is uh, the city of Albuquerque. Dan, is that true? Yes, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I've never been on a real airplane before, and I got to tell you, it was really great. Except that I had to sit between <laughs> two, 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 <laughs> had to sit between two large Albanian women with excruciatingly severe body odor, and the little kid in the back of me kept throwing up the whole time. The flight attendants ran out of Dr. Pepper and salted peanuts, and the in-flight movie was Biodome with Polly Shore. And, oh, oh no! Yeah, three of the airplane engines burned out, and we went into a tailspin and crashed into a hillside, and the plane exploded in a giant fireball, and everybody died except for me. Do you know why? I had my tray table up mm -hmm. and my seat back Duck in and the cover. Full upright position. That's why they tell you to do it. Up. And my seat in the full upright position. Had my tray table up. And my seat back in the full upright position. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. <laughs> ah. So I called from the twisted, burning wreckage. I crawled on my hands and knees for three full days. Dragging along my big leather suitcase and my garment bag, and my tenor saxophone, and my 12 pound bowling ball, and my lucky autographed glow in the dark snorkel. But finally, I arrived at the world famous Albuquerque Holiday Inn, where the towels are oh so fluffy. And you can eat your soup right out of the ashtrays if you want it. It's okay, they're clean. Well, I checked into my room and I turned down the AC and I turned on the SpectraVision and I'm just about to eat that little chocolate mint on my pillow that I love so very, very much when suddenly there's a knock on my door. Well, now, who could that be? And I say, who is it? And there's no answer. And I say, who is it? And there's no answer. And I say, who is it? They're not saying anything. And so finally I go over and I open the door and it's just as I suspected. There's someone there with a flock of seagulls haircut and only one nostril. And oh man, I hate it when I'm right. So anyway, he bursts into my room and he grabs my lucky snorkel. And I'm like, hey, you can't have that. That snorkel has been just like a snorkel to me. And he's like, tough. And I'm like, give it. And he's like, make me. And I'm like, okay. So I grabbed his head and he grabbed my esophagus and I bit off his ear. And he chew off my eyebrows. And I took out his appendix and he gave me a, a, a colonic irrigation. Yes, indeed, you better believe it. 
And somehow in the middle of it all, the phone got knocked off the hook, and 20 seconds later, I heard a familiar voice. And do you know what it said? I'll tell you what it said. <laughs> it said, If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Jesus Christ. That was one lullaby. stop. That was really so what, what is that? <laughs> that I happened to my buddy Eric baby. one time. I have another <laughs> life left. Buddy Eric. My life flashes before my eyes. For real. <gasps> that, was, that was beautiful. Weird Al Zone That gospel. match was so long. <laughs> that was eight that minutes. Was God. You've got this <laughs> hypnotic voice that just... Puts me right in the zone, I guess. <laughs> the zone of dying I'm repeatedly. in for that one. <laughs> Riley, I need to know what that is. What the hell is that? Uh, someone didn't listen to Music League this week. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do the Music League. That's, I that's did not. Weird Al's, weird Al's very own Albuquerque. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, All right I remember because there was a Flash this. animation <laughs> that I watched a lot uh, when I was uh, like... Yeah. 13 or whatever. I believe that's an albino sheep or albino black sheep. Albino the, black yep. sheep, baby. Uh, yes. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I heard that on the Music League playlist and it brought all of that back to me. <laughs> I almost submitted that. Instead, I submitted Trapped in the Drive Through, the other really good, really long one of the same era. Yeah, I was glad that we got both of those. Yeah, you gotta have both of those. I put in hardware store because I knew that I had that uh, that music trivia question about hardware store, and I was like, "Oh, everybody who's in music trivia is in the Moonshot uh, Music League. Surely they'll listen to it and like have that in their brain for music trivia." And then nobody fucking did music league this week. Yeah, we were <laughs> so, all a little busy. I mean, same. <laughs> What the fuck am I doing? Oh, I keep giving myself this very. So bad before I get into, Gladwell. before I get into things, oh, I do shit. need. I have an important disclaimer for the group that I need to say before we get into yeah. things, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I just want to say to everybody that hey, everybody, for real, playing to frustrate each other is not a fun way to God play. Fucking damn it! Because Joe. we're all on the same team, and that mm -hmm. team is to have fun together. Yeah, that's and to true. Make it fun for all of our audiences. That's and true. And so when people make plays just to frustrate each other. Uh -huh. And just to troll each other? Mm -hmm. There's enough of that in the world today. People That's trolling so each other just to be mean uh -huh. and to be hurtful. And yeah. if we're going to play in this space together, we need to do it because we want each other to have fun. Not because we're trying to frustrate each other. Because there's enough frustrating things in the world right now. And there's enough that we can't control. And one of the things that we can control is that everyone is here to have fun and not waste each other's time. So when we make decisions that are meant to troll each other... That's something bad people do. Oh, I understand. <laughs> you know, that, that really says a lot about society. <laughs> that's really, you know, that's all to think about those words, okay? Hey. Now on... <laughs> God, now I'm fucking remembering uh, the emotional state I was in uh, on, I believe, uh, the day was... Uh, November 30th, 2016. I might be off by a couple days. Uh, and listening to uh, Travis talk about holding my hand. <laughs> God. Uh, For a second, God. I thought you were. I, I was like, why do you remember the exact date the Among Us, <laughs> Travis Zachary Among Us thing happened? <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> It did take me, like, most of it to remember. Like, I, I was like, I know this, but I can't remember who it is. There's a command on uh, one of the, like, McElroy adjacent subreddits that just, like, brings the whole thing up, I'm pretty sure. I think Amazing. one of the bots on the uh, the uh, HKIP server, which is sort of an unofficial noise space community server, uh, the, there's a command for a bot to bring up that entire Our goddamn thing. Our wedding shaming presents my guest turned up to my wedding as a surprise. Oh, it's my wedding wow. on the weekend and the past few months have been setting up and hella stressful between me and my wife. We've been working full time, putting all the details into our wedding and ensure everything ran smoothly. On Saturday, it was a huge relief as the day had arrived. Everything was sorted and we could just relax. That was until the guests started arriving. 
Everything was going smoothly, and all of a sudden, a friend that had decided- a friend had just decided that he would just turn up! He was initially invited, but had, because he has gone traveling in Australia, he said he wouldn't be able to make it. He had, however, planned to surprise me on the day instead. I was livid when I saw his stupid smile, expecting me to be grateful that he had made the effort to come all this way. From Australia. I did say hi to him and smiled, but inside, I was livid. I was even more livid when he said, is that it? It was super awkward, and I was doing my best just to keep a lid on it. Is that it? No, yeah, there's so- No, there's so much more. <laughs> if we get to 45,000, or not 45,000, 4,500, if we get to 4,500 before stream starts tomorrow, I will finish reading the Wasp story at some point. I'll just, like, record it and post it somewhere. <laughs> if we get to 45,000, we will make a short film. <laughs> Out of the Wasp, wasp <laughs> of the story. Wasp group story. If we, if, if, we will... if we get to forty five thousand, I will let them all beat me to death with hammers. Hold on. <laughs> if we go, if we get to forty five thousand, I will go in the Wasp room. <laughs> we'll find My fate's in your room. hands, chat. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> we'll find the Wasp room and we'll put Jeff in there. <laughs> all We've been, been talking about hunting me for sport for a while. I'm for a I'm ready. Long time. <laughs> I'm ready to take yeah. this seriously. I thought we were hunting Riley for Oh, both. Different oh. contexts. Cool. Yeah, I'm in Minecraft. Jeff is for real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. And if you Orders catch me. Magnitude, you get it. If you catch me, I go yeah. in the wasp room. Well, then it's wasp room time. <laughs> wasp room time. It's a wasp room for you. server. <laughs> really, it gives me an incentive to run. Four people targeting me. Can I ask why? Uh, I think I, I'm, I moved off of you. I've Thank just you been guys. targeting whoever the game starts me targeting. targeting people. I, 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 like this no, new, I very specifically I like this use it as a way. <laughs> where you're like, <laughs> why is everyone targeting me? Why is <laughs> everyone bullying me? That's what bad people do. That's what bad people do. We make decisions to hurt each other. <laughs> Usually when I hear that, it reminds me I need to use the targeting system to get what I want done. That's true, and that can be as easy as not targeting me. I, that's true. See, I, I use it for... That man walks over me. to the briefcase the criminal had dropped. It lay open with various manga spilling out from it. Oh, that man kneels this. down for a closer look. Every manga has a similar cover. Two, sometimes three young men in various romantic embraces. Wow. Some awkward. Batman some passionate. BL. All extremely sexual. Batman. What is this? The criminal coughs and spits up a lot of blood. It's <laughs> Yowie. <laughs> Yowie. You know, boys love. It's a genre of Japanese media featuring erotic relationships between young men. Batman picks up one of the manga. The cover depicts a well-built, slightly sinister-looking man with black hair. His arms are suggestively embracing a much smaller, slightly frightened looking man with blonde hair. That man begins flipping through the manga, but he's reading it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh Later, in Alfred's Yaoi library, <laughs> <laughs> an electric chandelier comes to life, lighting an extensive array of old but well maintained oak bookcases. Each bookcase is filled top to bottom with Yowie. Wow. Alfred stands at the doorway to the library as Batman slowly walks inside, taking all the Yowie in. Batman, this is incredible. Alfred, I am quite proud of it. Batman takes the more British off the shelf and looks at the cover. <laughs> a young nerdy man has a shocked expression on his face as his shirt is being unbuttoned by a second, much taller man. I'm sorry, Alfred. I feel like I should have known this about you. Alfred, my love of Yaoi has never been a secret, but it's not something I casually bring up either. Batman carefully puts Stop. the Yaoi back on the shelf. He looks at the Yaoi, at the, the obvious the sexual shelf. tension between the two beautiful men on the cover. <laughs> oh, the suspense. Today, er, Batman, today, someone told me that Joe Biden is working to ban Yaoi. <laughs> <laughs> 
Great cliffhanger, great cliffhanger, thank, holy thank shit. You, thank you for pushing through it, thank you for pushing through it. When I was in Burma, I saw a yaoi the size of a tangerine. This is from an original screenplay called Batman the Yaoi Knight, written by the guy who made Charlie the Unicorn. It is free online. Oh, of course oh it is. God. I love you, Jason Steele. Thank you so That's much. That's art. Yeah. We haven't we haven't gotten anywhere yet. Oh God. Uh, I appreciate the commitment to Christian Bale Batman voice. I tried. You did really good. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm proud of you. <gasps> Thanks. Now die. <laughs> I should have shut up. That's the way you play Tetris. <laughs> I hear now die, and then under my name it says one person is now targeting you. <laughs> <laughs> I will be real. I forgot how the targeting system works near immediately. You're safe. Okay. Can you do it one more time and then forget again? <laughs> do you expect me to just do it again? You, no, never mind. No, you Mr. didn't get Bond, it. I expect look. you to die. <laughs> No, Mr. Bat, I expect you to yaoi. <laughs> no, Mr. Boys, yeah, boys love. You merely adopted boys love. <laughs> I was born in it. I would also like to point out this doesn't come up in any of the passages I chose, but Batman and Bruce Wayne are two different guys. <laughs> what do you on. fuck? Yeah, in I mean, the I know universe he fanfic. Like that sometimes. The, the, hold on. There's they of course they are. They're, they're of course they're two different guys. <laughs> and yeah, and Batman. Sorry, he's got it. Oh, I, I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, ever knocked out. You saved my life, and I'm eternally grateful. The room contains a long oval table and numerous chairs. The walls are full of small decorative oh, recesses right. in which various statues stand. On one of the chairs sits President Joe Biden, as well as one of his advisors and a Secret Service member. Sorry, it just occurred to me that this means that this is like a Batman recent. Batman <laughs> steps up to the table. <laughs> Batman, Mr. President, Joe Biden. By God, it's good. It's how does he even sound anymore? This man isn't real. <laughs> My god, it's Bruce Wayne. Bruce, good to see you. Batman moves to shake Biden's hand. The Secret Service member darts forward to intercept, but Biden waves him away. Sit down, sit down. Sorry about the welcome. Everyone's riled up like a rooster in a fox's den about some clown on the front lawn. The Joker, by the way. The advisor, <laughs> the, the awesome. advisor gets up, nods at Batman, and then leaves the room. Batman. Thank you, Mr. President. Joe Biden, please. I've told you. Call me Joe. Batman, of course. Oh. Joe Biden, it's great you're here. I've been meaning to pick your brain about a couple things. Batman, so you know why I'm here. Joe Biden, you're here to keep all those pretty little cartoon boys away from the long arm of the government, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Batman, that's not the words I would use, but yes. <laughs> Joe Biden, listen buddy, you know I don't have a single crow to pick with that kind of thing. Barack and I made all that legal to begin with. Batman, so it isn't true. You aren't gonna ban Yowie. Joe Biden, I'm saying it's more complicated than you think. There are things about Yowie you don't fully understand. <laughs> you keep going. There you go. Okay. Joe Biden is not a man who would understand what Yowie is. <gasps> well, those we pretty haven't even gotten Biden's really secret Yowie bunker. I, although that is an apt. If he did know, that is how he would describe it, yeah. <laughs> Um, alright, we're ten minutes before end of segment. I'm Bro, gonna what? turn on... Yeah. Yeah. We just we started. St we, we stop at 3 a.m. Keep it, keep it going, keep it going. No. Well, I, hold on, I'm, I'm, turning on, I'm turning on nightmare mode. Alright. Wait, do we, still, do we have an hour left? Am I hallucinating? Nightmare. Nightmare. No, I'm about lying to, to you for fun. Okay. Okay. If we hit uh, goal in the next ten minutes, I will keep playing until I fall asleep at my desk. Keep. Oh my God. You should, yeah, if, if we can get donations, every donation is an extra second that we get to play. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm 
reading Al's instructions for nightmare mode. <laughs> I, I love that it's like, I imagine like Al shipped you a paper document. That, <laughs> that, is, that is basically it, yeah. <laughs> or a floppy disk with a skull on it. <laughs> it is like a series of Bob defusal instructions. <laughs> you know what, Mart, Mart, if it's gonna take a little while, I can keep reading. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Batman walks from exhibit to exhibit, taking in all the yaoi. We're, right now we're in the secret underground yaoi bunker underneath the White House. Thank you. Joe Biden. At first, it was a moral panic sort of thing, raising a ruckus over what Japanese art was going to do to American children. Batman. And then? Joe Biden. Al Gore became fixated on yaoi like a dog with a bone and set up a research center in the White House's fallout center. That's where we are now. Bill had a tizzy fit when he found out, let me tell you. Batman, and where does your own interest lie? <laughs> Joe Biden, me, I don't care two licks for this stuff. But as for U.S. interests, there was a Yowie event that really shook things up in early 2000s. Batman turns sharply to Joe Biden. Batman, do you mean? Joe looks confused for a second, then laughs. No, I'm not about to tell you that Yowie did 9-11. <laughs> I'm referring to happened a few months more. 9-11 just delayed the government's response to it. <laughs> we, we received $10 that said, read that Batman Yowie. And I just want to say, I think we should go 10 minutes over, Mark. Okay. Close the money keeps flowing. Al, Al also said, yeah, I sent Mark a message by Raven. <laughs> it is true. Al sent a Raven to my house and with, it, with the Tetris instructions tied right, to its leg in a scroll. Oh, oh, oh you okay. Can't do okay. Oh, oh, no I fast can't. drops. I oh. Okay. Batman steps inside this new room and walks Wait. into the. Are you not playing? Oh. Oh. I am playing. I can do both. I, I, this That's is impressive. Inside There's the chamber, no... there are huddled oh together God. two young and beautiful men. Oh, I see. I see Batman. what's up. I see what's this happening. Joe Six Biden. People targeting me. Batman. Chill what out. Oh, yeah. Joe Biden. Yowie is real. Batman. <laughs> One of the yaoi, taller so of the true. Two, looks up, an expression of deep longing and sadness on his beautiful face. <laughs> Batman yaoi, puts one of his hands on the glass. Batman, They're yaoi this hands. is a projection, some sort of hologram. Joe Biden, they're as real as a pine tree in Kansas, and they can interact with the physical world. Batman turns to look at Joe Biden. What crime have they committed? Joe Biden smirks. Come on now. You know this is how this works. Batman. Do I? Joe Biden. These two are illegal aliens. They don't have rights. They don't even have a country. Batman. Everyone has rights. Joe Biden. Thanks, Batman. With respect, I'm Lovely. the president, and I say, Yowie do not have rights. <laughs> oh my god. You'll have to give me a second to, to move to the next passage. I'm a little preoccupied playing a game of Tetris. Oh, I see. <laughs> are are, are, are Yaoi manga sentient in this setting? Right. Yeah, Yaoi is real. Yeah, Joe they're, they're, the that. reveal is that Read they're a fucking real. Book. Yes. <laughs> Get educated, Tim. Oh, my God. I was killed by Jeff Stormer. Batman steps out of the shadows and into the candlelight. Batman, there are Yaoi walking the earth. Alfred, we're on the same page, sir. Batman, you, you can see them? Alfred, <laughs> I've been seeing Yaoi since 1982, sir. I see them in the garden. I see them in the market. I see them at church. Once Yaoi finds its way into your heart, you realize they've been there all along. Batman, the Yaoi are in trouble, Alfred. Alfred, what is it that can be done, and how can I help? Batman, I know this is asking a lot, but I need your Yaoi collection. Alfred looks around at the collection he has spent the last 50 years gathering. Alfred, Yaoi has added so much to the texture of my life. If all I need to sacrifice in order to repay that kindness is my manga collection, I will consider that a tremendous bargain. Batman, thank you, Alfred. I love that uh, you have given... Uh... Alfred, like a David Suchet kind of stank to him. I'm, I'm too distracted by reading these insane words to remember what they sound like in any appearance. That's, that is a-okay. That is a-okay. Uh, I'll, I'll leave this one off then on uh, Batman. 
Joe Biden was keeping kidnapped woman in a White House dungeon so he could sniff their hair. <laughs> 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 run it back, Mark. Run it back. I had to share. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I got you. <laughs> Can I make a controversial Tetris statement? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think the game is more relaxing uh, when I cannot see what's coming next. It just feels more chill. I agree with you. I, I can see I, that. I'm kind of with you. I... Yeah. I just don't pay attention to that bar most of the <laughs> yeah, time. <same. laughs> that, that bar is always doing whatever silly little dance it wants, and I promise you I'm not processing that thing one fucking bit. <laughs> when you all die, you will go to Tetris Hell for your sins. I can't wait. That's okay. Sorry, called, Sheriff, I saw you get on. It's called the Wasp for, Room. Please be, please be accurate. <laughs> yeah, the Wasp Room. Thank you to whoever unautomodded Red Seraph for saying the word gay. I saw it, but I, I'm playing Tetris. <laughs> Coward. The woke left no, won't let you say gay anymore. Twitch chat really doesn't like our, like, regular fucking users saying gay. <laughs> yeah. They're like, this one is the negative one. I know it. I know it. I know you are waiting for There, there has to be one. Look, the automod is... Why else uh, would someone say gay? What, what is it? The, uh, that, like... 20 year old Hillary Duff commercial where she's like, hey, yeah. don't say that. That's bad. Thanks, Hillary. <laughs> Thanks, Hillary. I'm with her. I'm with the Duff. I'm with the Duff. I'm with the Duff. It's no. me and the Duff on this one. Oh, God. Are there any real Duffers in the chat tonight? Real Duffers oh, press Christ. one. They say he was the first kid to ever get Whoa, given an after school let's stay go! In the <laughs> They say he kicked and struggled and fought the entire way down the corridor. Apparently, you could still see some of the scuffs and dents he made in the paint on the walls. Mm. The boy swallowed. None of the kids who come out ever want to talk about it. Well, what about Dan Martinez himself? I asked. Can I don't you want to hear ask it. him? It's just the thing, the boy went on. This is the first ever after school session. With every thrown punch and kick, he extended his time. Apparently, they just. Forgot about him. Forgot he was even there. And he even was so afraid. Parents? So afraid of the wasps. I realized my throat had gone dry. It was almost like I was there in that corridor, listening to the drone and the buzz behind the door. And when they remembered the next morning, the boy finished. It was too late. He was dead. He'd been stung so many times at first they didn't even recognize his body. Apparently all those teachers pretended he just moved away. He shrugged. That's not how the story goes. Not the way the kids tell it. I thought about the stories I was told on the bus all night long. I couldn't get the images out of my head, and when I slept, my dreams were of Dan Martinez, his ruined corpse trying to warn me from behind the grave, and the sound of wasps grew louder and louder. School the next morning was like an out-of-body experience. Vibes. I could barely think straight at all. I was so scared, so terrified of stepping out of line. The teachers must have picked up on my change of mood, but they didn't say anything. They didn't say a damn thing. So I kept my head down, and I did my best. At least, I did until the commotion in the cafeteria that lunch. A sudden clatter of tray and splatter of food set the whole hall oh to silence. You, there was you a general to rustle. Wasp school. <gasps> there was a general rustle of shirts and jackets, and everyone turned at once to see the source of the commotion. I didn't have to. I was stood right next to it. The girl from the bus had just stumbled into a teacher and knocked his lunch to the ground. A miserable old science teacher <sighs> by the name of Mr. Ride. Holy shit, I no. want. Good Whoa, day. good job, Riley! <coughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! I did knock out Jeff Stormer. I have fulfilled my vengeance quest and can now pass away. Marn, there's only ten extra dollars in there for ten more minutes. Can you please give that to me? Yes, absolutely. Can I, I... I will leave us off on a cliffhanger real quick. We made eye contact and I've never seen such genuine fear. I could see tears forming in her eyes and the teacher burst into a set of rage. He swiveled to look at her, face red and bellowed. Watch where you're going, you silly girl. I'd never seen a teacher shout at this at the school before, which made the experience all the more frightening. I'll bet you did this on purpose, didn't you? Answer me. No, sir. No, sir. She stuttered back. She was flushed with embarrassment. The wasp hey. room! He shouted at her. Hey. Now! Marn, <laughs> I'm noticing somebody that was not here before. Do we know Crabs in Eleven? I don't think we do. Let me kiss Mr. Eleven? Him. He's yes. I... very powerful. <laughs> Too powerful for Tetris. Yeah. That, that's Jeff's next rival. 
Finally, an enemy worthy of his skill and attention. Yeah, this is... That's like fucking... That's some DBZ power scaling shit. That guy's level. Alright, what do you got for me? <laughs> what was the level? I did not see it. It was like 1,537. <laughs> no, I'm not playing with that. Not today. Not today. Not this Three week. targeting me? Okay. This isn't me telling you to move. <laughs> Just this sort of affirming where I'm at. Luck. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes you got the odds stacked against you. How do I change who I'm targeting so I can kill you? Gotta click them on the side thing. <laughs> I'm clicking on the side thing. It's not doing anything. Isn't yeah, I, I, that may, I may have been incorrect when I said that earlier. Oh, well, that's what I've been trying to do this entire time, so... I, I said I was <laughs> it wrong. It may have just been confirmation bias. <laughs> yeah, that's also possible. Oh, this is an awful place for you. I don't have a place I for you. Can I get a block that I like, please? Uh, Jay, that's exactly what my parents said to me when I read <gasps> Batman Yaoi. You read I mean, I, I, I'm on your parents' side on that one, I think. You read them, Batman Yaoi? I didn't. <laughs> I'm lying on the internet for fun. <laughs> Hold on. People wouldn't you do, do that. that. Do that? Can I get a ban on Fleur, please? Mods, mods, mods. Mods, 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 mods. Shit. Wait, what's oh, that, that me? Me up. Yeah, someone died. Alright, alright, yeah. Uh, back to it. Aftermath. Immediately following the incident, the Chicago Police Department said they were investigating <laughs> the incident, but did not yet consider it a crime. On August 9th, the Chicago Architecture Foundation released a statement that a witness had recorded license plate information, which they had turned over to the police as evidence. On August 10th, bus driver Jerry Fitzpatrick, who drove for the band, was identified as the owner of the bus's license plate. In a phone interview, Fitzpatrick denied to a Chicago Tribune reporter that he had dumped the waste, asserting that he was parked in front of the band's hotel at the time. A publicist for the Dave Matthews Band issued a statement saying the band's management had determined that every one of its buses was parked at the time of the incident. Fitzpatrick, who was in Effingham, Illinois at the time, instructed Sergeant oh, Paul Gardner of the Effingham Police Department to inspect the bus's septic tank to prove he could not have emptied it. And scene. <laughs> but what happened next? Or I was like, what arm. fic is this? <laughs> yeah, it, oh, this is just a this is, oh, I, this is the real easily, world. <laughs> I am aware of the story, but... forget about Dave Ma Mr. Dave Matthews and his humble band. <laughs> or targeting me, oh boy. I love this knockoff Super Smash Bros. music that's playing. I think I lost the music at some point. I don't I know what mind. happened to it. I think that I just makes you lose off. music. That just makes you lose music. <laughs> I must have turned it's mine off when we fine. streamed this last year and just like never turned it back on. That's possible. Because I've been playing in silence. You've just been sitting there in silence, letting the Batman yaoi wash over you. Hi, yeah. Doctor. Why'd you do that? Oh, I turned it off because I was playing while recording a podcast recently. That's what it was. Meh. <laughs> And I'll and mm. I'll admit to that. <laughs> I would. You just need something a little mindless to take your. Sometimes you need physical input. Mm. I usually play Candy Crush while recording podcasts. I'm gonna be real. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Not a bad idea. I'm, I'm... While, <laughs> while while GMing the most the most intense moments of interstitial infinity. <laughs> Yeah, like, no joke, I, I played a lot of Candy Crush during Interstitial Infinity, I played a lot of Attack of the Gummy Dice on Neopets doing Interstitial Infinity. Mm -hmm. If you You're ever right, hear me- fine. I'm just... If you Actually... ever hear me clicking on my recording like I'm doing a fucking, like, raid in Final Fantasy, it's because I'm playing Candy Crush. <laughs> yeah, that's- That's also I why I don't game while, uh, podcasting. Don't want sounds to come in. I switched to Gummy Dice because it uses keyboard. I'm pretty sure that's that what I was lies. playing during the, all of the Coliseum episodes. Uh, <laughs> I'd okay. like to now read the end of Batman, the Yaoi Let's Knight. go, please. Okay, Batman, now Yowie within Knight returns. arm's reach of Biden, plucks the flower out of the old man's hair and sniffs <gasps> He hands it to an appreciative Yaoi on his left. Joe Biden, I never took you for a traitor, Batman. <gasps> 
Batman. Who was it I betrayed? Marn. The government. Yeah. Your president. The we just received a $100 donation. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Marn, you can't go to bed yet. That's where you've got I think you, Joe. I think you can. Um, just as much a part of the human experience as you. Riley, you can just stay up and keep playing Tetris Batman if you want. His one hand up to his <laughs> will you, will you leave the stream up? Uh, no. Long My computer is very sad. Comes out, <laughs> flowing from a beautiful and sensitive cartoon face. Batman. And me. Joe Biden steps back in shock and alarm, violently hitting the Resolute desk behind him. Joe Biden. And we received ten no. more. We received no. another ten dollars. It's just ten yeah, more we minutes. Hang off of Batman. Oh, Come on, please. Batman. Oh, oh, <laughs> All of the yaoi in the room melts into Batman, who grows bigger and bigger. Furniture <laughs> scrapes across the floor. Oh, no, no, he's no, no. three in the goddamn water. morning. Thank you, Ego. Thank you, Sarah. The resolute desk as it tips it the <laughs> Thank you so much, folks. The White House breaks mm -hmm. apart as Batman, now a huge, beautiful yaoi, emerges mm -hmm. from its cell. What? The walls completely crumble away, and debris and rubble fall from Batman's body. Something that secret agents attempt to shoot at Batman, but they are gently dragged to the ground by smaller Yowie. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Batman continues growing until he absolutely towers over the spot where the White House once stood. As right. the moon shines down on his beautiful Yowie face, the moon. Batman stoops down and plummets his muscular arm into the earth. <laughs> A few moments later, he pulls it back up, and in his hand are the two imprisoned Yowie, now free. Batman holds the yaoi up to the moonlight. Season two, Jujutsu Kaisen. The two young men hit in the <laughs> moon's silver glow. Oh! Their silhouettes forming the bat signal. Thank you wow. very much. Yay. Okay, I was very confused for most of the fanfic. What the hell they meant when they were saying yaoi is a proper noun. Were yeah, they... That it's it's an adjective, it's a noun, it's it whatever you need it to be. It's actually a noun, <laughs> but it's funnier this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I just meant like... Uh, some, some, uh, handsome young man from, uh, a particular Yaoi Dojin, and not physical Yaoi Dojin books, which was my point of contention. I think those are real. They, they're, in fact, real <laughs> Books? Yaoi yeah, real. books are real. can't see them. Don't fucking lie to me right now, Jay. <laughs> oh, no! Don't make me lose again, I don't have anything else. There's a fucking uh, YouTube like MS Paint fanime no, called no. Yaoi the Fanime Please, that uh -huh. a friend and I became briefly extremely obsessed with in uh, awesome. college okay. because it's like no. a parody fanime and I all did of find the a new thing to read. I'm ready. All of oh, the boy. guys are uh, are voiced by a uh, voice to text. <laughs> a strange That's... alien doctor stands near the unconscious body of Padme Amidala. It appears she has <gasps> oh, lost the will to live. An older yeah, man with a limp hob nice. hobbles closer with the oh. pain. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, says Dr. Gregory House. Great. Somehow this ends up in him getting punched by Obi-Wan. He immediately starts putting on every treatment known to man. He walks over to Wilson's office, which is the only part of the entire ship that looks just the same as it does in the show. There, he homoerotically complains about how stupid Jedi are and makes a bet with Wilson on whether Obi-Wan is gay or the father of Padme's twins. Wilson wants House to believe people can be faithful. Padme almost dies again. It turns out the treatment's not working. If the dark side uh, nearly killed her, maybe it can save her. House uses force lightning to restart Padme's heart. He gets brought into Cuddy's office and told off for using experimental treatment to power the dark side in her hospital. I appreciate the, the, the synopsis approach that took. <laughs> Ten, you right, said 10 more, more minutes, minutes. Marn. Yeah, yeah, nine more, nine more minutes. Oh my god. Unless more money comes oh. in. Oh my god, Riley. I mean, that $100 donation did come in. <laughs> so now that we've hit 4,000, Paper Mario is going to be a seven hour stream. Oh, good, good. At good. the shortest. Rest in peace. I pieces. just want to put that out there. Here's the thing. Paper Mario, I was going to stream it anyway. Like, that's all well and good. It's like one of my favorite video games ever made. I I, I, I already have it. I've pre-ordered it. And I was like, it would be fun to just kind of like let our viewers decide how long that stream is going to be. Because I could play Paper Mario all day. Mm -hmm. 
Why are you saying this in the cadence of somebody reading their fanfic? Like you're reading off a television. <laughs> oh, I, <don't> know. <laughs> I, 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 me I meant to bring it up earlier. I don't know if it's because it was an influence or not, but Jay, you read exactly like Half-Life Full Life Consequences. <laughs> oh, there's. it wasn't <clears throat> conscious, but there's definitely a little bit of that just in me for sure. <laughs> Like, that's the matter-of-fact voice that you use yeah. <laughs> when you're stating facts matter-of-factly. Like, it, it's a little bit that I used to do local news, and it's definitely also a little bit. <laughs> My local news persona had a lot to do with Half-Life Full-Life Consequences. <laughs> that, that or at least a little. You were on local news? For a few years, yeah, that was my job. Wow. Oh fuck! Jay has a whole I'm like, the, newscaster. I'm, sona. I'm in front of a celebrity. Newscaster Sona. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they have a newscaster news voice. I I, I don't know what you mean. At all times, oh, it knows fuck. this because it Damn. knows where it isn't by yeah, subtracting where it is from where it isn't, or where it isn't from where it is, whichever is greater. Oh, it obtains a difference mm -hmm. or deviation. The guidance subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands to drive the missile from a position where it is to a position where it isn't. Oh, I killed Jeff. Arriving at a position where it wasn't no, and now you is. Piece of shit. There we go. Consequently, the position where it is now the position that it wasn't, and it follows. What are you saying to me? It was. <laughs> this is how a missile it works. Is. In the event that the position that it is in is not the position that it wasn't. The system has acquired a variation. Are you casting the variation a spell? Being the difference between where the missile is and where it isn't. If oh, fuck. Is considered to be a significant oh, this factor, is embarrassing. It too may be corrected by the guidance system. However, the missile must also know where it oh. was. Ve very embarrassing to become one of the final two uh, competitors as I'm like visibly eating shit the hardest I could possibly <laughs> be doing. Oh. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. <laughs> Yep. How many more minutes? Six more minutes, Martin. Six more minutes. Flur, that, that post is so, like, similar to fucking uh, mm. when an inning is beginning, it begins with ends until all the ends are exactly out. the same <laughs> <voice>. <laughs> Next year, I should just show up with Tumblr posts. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that it says for a target. <laughs> you. Did everyone fix that for me? Uh, it, I just hit I, I hit four on my keyboard, which is payback. So I'm getting payback on whoever I, the computer decides I should. Uh, payback targets people who are targeting you. Yeah. Well. E. What's so up, motherfuckers? Probably me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that just makes me lose control. That just makes me lose control. <laughs> That's gonna be Riley's new thing for the next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get ready to hear that a lot. New Riley dropped. <laughs> new Riley <laughs> dropped. Every time I come up with a new thing, we do kill the old Riley. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the it's like the prestige. Yeah. I was say, it's like the Venture yeah. Brothers. <laughs> I got a team of bees in the back. You're always about to say something's like the Venture Brothers. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. I am. <laughs> Incidentally. Marn, it's like you channel dead crazy people. <laughs> They're seeing you read. Oh, I don't like this situation. Ah, Ahem. The Naked Brothers Band is an American musical <laughs> comedy television series created by Polly Draper, which aired on Nickelodeon from February 3rd, 2007 to June 13th, 2009. It depicts the daily oh. lives of Draper's sons, who lead a faux world-renowned children's rock band in New York yeah. City. As Wait, a mockumentary, sorry, the storyline... Yes. The, the, as a mockumentary, the storyline is an embellished satire of their le real lives, and the physical pres the fictional presence of a camera is often acknowledged. The show stars Nat Wolf and Alex Wolf, the lead singer, songwriter, and drummer, respectively. Nat's fictional female interest, Ali Demeco, and real-life friends, Thomas Matulo, David Levi, and Cooper Pillote, as well as Kwasim Middleton, who has no acquire pr prior acquaintance with the family, are featured as the other band members, with Draper's jazz musician husband, Michael Wolf, as his son's widowed accordion-playing dad, and her niece, Jessie Draper, portraying the group's babysitter. <laughs> 
The series is a spin-off of Polly Draper's film of the same name that was picked up by the network, premiering in January 2007. Draper, known for her starring role in 30-something, is the executive Dang. producer. You know, I kind remember... Kind of lesser Jeanette McCurdy's mom figure, it seems. You Sorry. know, I... I've uh, followed... I remember seeing the Naked Brothers band on Nickelodeon and just kind of ignoring it because I didn't... At that point, I had kind of burned out on all that. But... Uh, uh, it came up in an earlier block during the jury zone. Yeah, That's good body deeply because, fascinating. Because I, I went to your Let's channel start to now. like... Or as close to now as can be defined in this conversation. Between the time and place I am writing in <laughs> as I write these words and the time and place you are in as you read them. On my end, now, is roughly two weeks after the release of Andrew WK's video for the title track of his 2018 LP, oh You my Are God, Not Alone. Riley. Great it's pick. an odd clip, a negative image video allegedly meant to illustrate the following bit of Andrew WK's worldview. By inverting every polarity and reflecting every opposite, we can unite the highest and lowest parts of ourselves and rejoice in the ever-contrasting intensity of being alive. It's odd, though, because at points, the figure on the screen looks nothing like Andrew WK. This is, of course, the result of the filming technique, but it does bring to mind a question I've been meaning to ask. What does Andrew WK look like? Do you know what Andrew WK looks like? I've shaken the man's hand and I've looked him square in the eye. I've watched him on stage and seen him in literally hundreds and quite possibly thousands of pictures and videos. If I had to describe Andrew WK to a police sketch artist, I could probably do a pretty good job. My own sketching abilities, though, are a bit rusty. Instead, I've created this Cubist-inspired collage, together using a handful of official Andrew WK photographs shot over the course of his professional career. Not a bad likeness, isn't it? Still doesn't look much like the person in the video, though. Why don't you watch that and get comfortable, okay? And then when you're ready, we can start. We can talk about how we got here in the first place and all the reasons we're here now. The Andrew WK story is nothing like the music. Made nothing else in the world. There's no story I'd rather tell. I can't, of course. I would, though, in a heartbeat. I would spell everything and spare nothing. I can't. Not because I'd betray any confidence or violate any agreements or put myself in harm's way. Because I don't know Andrew WK's story. I don't know enough of it, at least. I don't know what's true and what's not true. I don't think anybody knows the whole truth of Andrew WK's story. I don't think Andrew WK knows anymore. I'm absolutely certain he wouldn't tell you even if he could, but I think he would get lost if he were to try. I think there are so many long-abandoned dead ends and red herrings and random acts of misdirection, so many illusions interspersed with so many other layers of reality that I can't believe he can keep it straight. I doubt he completely remembers a whole bunch of it, and there are some details on which I'm sure even he surely knows nothing. Maybe he does, though. He might. Who knows? For the purposes of this conversation, let's tell ourselves that there's nobody who knows the whole truth more of the Andrew WK story. And let me tell you, I'm not pretending to know any more or less than what it is I'm telling you today. I'm sure somebody knows more than I do, but they're not here. I am. And let me tell you this, too. I've been doggedly following this whole mess for longer than I can even believe. And I've done my level best to keep close track of the plot to the extent of which such a thing is possible. So before I forget anything, I'm going to tell you some of the stories I remember it. As much of the stories I know. Sound good? Good. Let's begin. Let's begin with what we know. His name is Andrew W.K. Andrew W.K. was born Andrew Wilkes Cryer, that much is generally accepted as a fact without dispute. Personally, I think it's the first act of misdirection. As I see it, this is where the maze starts. It's a fascinating little anecdote, frankly, although you don't hear it told much anymore. According to an old bio, Andrew was named after a drunk driver turned drugstore cowboy murderer named Andrew Stevenson. He started calling himself Andrew White. He was then given the alias The White Killer by the Michigan Police Force tracking him down. Here's a line from the actual bio. bio. Andrew's father was fond of the name. As chief officer on the police force, he named hmm. his son after the killer once they caught him. Does that sound like a true story to you? All right, gang. Oh. <laughs> Good. All right. I find out. Tetris has made me lose as much control as I can lose in an evening, and I need to I need to sleep. <laughs> Unless somebody donates a hundred dollars. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do that tomorrow. Do that tomorrow for day three of Moon Garitaville right, right here at twitch.tv right slash moonshot network. Do it right now. Fleur and I will stay. Shut the fuck up. I will I mean, stay. I, I will honestly. I, I'll if you donate the money, I took some melatonin, so I will keep playing until I fall asleep <laughs> at the desk. It's not a good idea, but if you if we hit the goal in like a minute. I'll do it. Oh, I am, man. I am ready to back out of the lobby. Good night, everybody. Crazy good night. Good night. I do want to tell everyone. Thank you, Bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Al, for sending me night all of these nightmarish Tetris modes. <laughs> They're great. They're very good. Mm -hmm. Please Indeed, keep it up and yeah, in your hearts. Uh, yeah. yeah. Remember, good. it's real if you see it. Good night, everybody. Look for it. Please read this Andrew W.K. Steve Mike 
<laughs> stereo gum <laughs> article. <laughs> You're going to feel crazy. You're going to feel so crazy. T- tune in I, tomorrow I for more things. Yeah, um, looks like the uh, first thing we've got is at uh, 2.45, if I'm reading this right. No, it should no, be 3. 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock. That's, uh, I, I read it wrong. Uh, we'll be picking back up at 3, and uh, yeah. we'll be doing a Bellatra race. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Bellatra's card time, baby. Mm-hmm. All right, but-